this is Evan Wallace here right now with a very important video on how to transplant your orchids. Now, if you have an orchid that needs a new pot like mine does, you can buy an orchid pot or just make your own. Like, you have to cut little slots in it on the sides because that's how orchid pots are. Well, this is what you need to use to pot your orchids in. Not orchid moss and not stagna moss. You need, you need to use coconut shells, which you get at a pet store. You need to use coconut shells because coconut shells work much better because it lets the it drain through. Because stagna moss, when it in orchid moss, when it get um stagna moss, when it gets dry, it it's hard to get it wet again. So this is how you pot orchids. You get yourself a nice pot. It does not. It can be clay or plastic. They kind of like plastic. So you take some mold, you take some coconut shells and drop them in the bottom of your pot. Like I'm doing. Then you put your plant in and if you ha if you don't have enough mold coconut shell, well, that's not too bad of a problem because you can also use dirt if you would like too. You can give it a little fertilizer and stuff. You just fill in the edges with mulch, with this coconut shell stuff. And I even mixed in some good soil even with some of the mulch and coconut shell. I mean, so so it make the plant nice and more happier. Because this is an orchid that I got for free. Look terrible. So, next time you have an orchid, watch this video so you can learn how to transplant them. Because it, it'll give you very good tips on how to on how to transplant them and stuff. So, I don't have enough. Not a problem. I have some of this good soil. Hold up. Here it is. There's the name. So, if you don't have enough, sometimes you can use soil if you like. Which I'm going to use because I don't have enough. So, this is very good soft soil, which is good for orchids. It's good for all sorts of plants. It's good to start plants in and stuff. Well, you know, orchids are quite tricky plants to grow. I know. Well, it, yeah, because I lost an orchid. But, but you, wa you stick a pencil in the dirt, and if the pencil is dry, you water them. If the pencil feels moist, you don't water them. You water them when they're dry. And don't overwater them, or they might die. So, here, these are some good tips. So, whenever an orchid, when you buy it at a store and it's done blooming, don't cut off the bloom stalk because it blooms a second time on the same bloom stalk. It might take a few months or something. And then when, when it's done with the second bloom, cut it off if you would like because it won't bloom again for you, not a third time. I know for my mama's orchid that we got it and it was in bloom. It was her birthday present from um, a friend. Her name was Kathy. She had it for my mommy. And we got it a nice clay orchid pot. A nice, beautiful clay orchid pot from a nursery called Shades of Green. It's on Sunset Road. It's called Sunset Road. So, that's how you pot orchids. So, if you don't have enough, you can use some good potting soil, too. But they normally like to be in mulch and stuff, like coconut shells, stagna moss, orchid moss. But I try to use the mulch because it actually works better than any old stagna moss, orchid moss. So, 
There are different types of orchids. I don't know every kind. There are moth orchids and phalaenopsis orchids. What I discovered is that's another name for phalaenopsis. A phalaenopsis orchid is actually a moth orchid too. That's just another name for it. Moth orchid is another name for phalaenopsis orchid. So, I hope you had a nice time watching me. And these are good tips to know. Thank you for watching today. My name is Evan Wallace, and if you would like more, just watch these videos. And also, get a, an app called Viber, and I'll be sending these messages on Viber. And if you see something that says Shannon Wallace, that's us, and you'll find films of me. Thank you for watching. Bye.